Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and today with a number of examples on what on con the, the same topic that we are discussing that is the power factor correction equipment and the cost models basically we are we are uh, discussing the economic point of view of that. So let's say we see a number of examples from the book over here. Okay 6.6 .6 it is number one is 6.6 .6, okay example what does this states this states that the load on an installation is 800 kilowatts 0.8 lagging power factor 800 kilowatts 0.8 lagging power factor and working for 3000 hours per annum 3000 hours per annum the tariff is rupees 100 per kva rupees 100 per kva plus rupees 20 pesas pesas 20 pesas per kilowatt hour 20 pesas per kilowatt hours if the power factor is improved 2.9 lagging by means of loss free capacitors so which means this one is my first power factor i name it cause of phi 1 cause of phi 2 is 0.9 lagging with the help of static capacitors and loss less capacitors and they are costing 60 rupees per kvar capacitor cost is 60 per kvar calculate the annual saving effected 10% per annum is interest and depreciation on the capacitors. So interest and depreciation factor is 10% with the capacitor. So go for any annual saving if resulted. So uh, basically you have what? You can find out the energy units consumed. First of all, the, the, the wait, wait, wait. You can find out what from here you can find out for phi 1 from here you can find out phi 2. Can you not cause inverse of 0.8 I will write it from here is uh, well they have not mentioned it. Anyways phi, uh, phi 1 would be cause inverse of 0.8. Phi 2 would be what cause inverse of 0.9 just do it by yourself. Anyways now you need what you need the rating of the capacitors first. So the rating of the capacitors would be what you have the formula. P tangent of phi 1 minus tangent of phi 2. P put this as 800 kilowatts. Tangent phi 1, tangent phi 2, find out please. What does this come out to be? The, 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 the KVR taken by the capacitor is 212.56. QC is 212.56. KVARs which means what the cost of the capacitors would be what the capacitor cost this would be rupees 60 that is per KVR and the KVRs are what 212.56 so the capacitor cost would come out to be what capacitor cost is uh, 12750 12750 and you also have to do what 12750 is the capacitor cost and then you have the interest and depreciation factor as well so just do it also 12750 multiplied by 0.1 right so the final capacitor cost would be 1275 rupees and this is for per annum now we calculate the bill so before power factor correction so let's say i i just name it as before so before power factor correction what do you have is s1 would be what p1 upon cause of phi 1 so do it please it is 800 divided by what 0 0.8 what does this come out to be hmm? it is 1000 1000 1000 now the fixed cost is based on this 1000 maximum demand of kva multiplied with what where is the tariff this one multiplied with 100 so this comes out to be uh, one lakh right yes 
yes then what do you have is then you have uh, uh, the next is the variable cost so the variable cost is on the basis of the energy consumed so you need to have the energy consumed as well so you need to have the load factor into maximum demand into time so you do not have any max, uh, load factor mentioned over here so take the connected load as the maximum demand as 800 and multiply it simply with the time for which it's operating is 3000 so the units come out to be what 24000 000 kilowatt hours now for the variable cost what do you have is for the variable cost multiply this thing with what 24 1 2 3 4 5 multiply it with 20 pesos so 0 0.2 so the variable cost comes out to be how much uh, 480000 rupees this is also in rupees so now for the total cost of electricity i would name it one uh, fixed cost one variable cost one so this one is for before power factor correction so this comes out to be fixed cost one plus variable cost one and the total cost is what five eight zero and triple zero five eight zero triple zero so this is the cost of electricity that is before power factor correction now I go for after power factor correction. So if you improve the power factor, what would happen is the, the equivalent KVAs would decrease. So S2 would be the same P, P is the same. P upon cos of phi 2. So P is 800 and this time you divide it by 0 0.9 and this comes out to be how much? It is 888.89. 888.89. Now the fixed cost is on the basis of this. 888.89 and you multiply it with what with rupees 100 rupees 100 so this comes out to be 88 eight and double eight double eight nine double eight double eight nine this is the fixed cost let's say two now the variable cost two would be the same as variable cost one because why 1275 wait 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 uh, no no and these charges are the same yes variable cost would be the same variable cost 2 would be the same as variable cost 1 why because uh, the same energy unit the same power so you have 2 uh, not this one this one 4 8 0 triple zero rupees now what do you have the total cost the cost of electricity 2 would be the fixed cost 2 plus the variable cost 2 plus you also need to have the capacitor cost added over here the capacitor cost is this much final 1275 so add these three up add these three up what do you have is 570164 570164 so have a look you have uh, improved the power factor of the system as well and you have also you know the the uh, the net kva also has reduced and you also have reduced the net cost have a look so which means the cost one is greater than cost two this means that you have got saving and how much have you saved so c1 minus c2 fine yes next example this was 6.6 .6. Next is let's say 6.7. A factory takes a load of, this is 9836. The saving is what? 9836. The book has mentioned. 6.7. A factory takes a load of 200 kilowatts. 200 kilowatts at how much power factor? 0.8 power factor lagging. 0 0.85 lagging power factor and working for 2500 hours per annum 2500 hours per annum the tariff is rupees 150 per kva rupees 150 per kva plus five pesos per kilowatt hour consumed so 0 0.5 per kwh if the power factor is improved to 0.9 lagging so if cause of phi 2 is 0 0.9 lagging by means of capacitors costing rupees 420 per kvr so capacitor cost is rupees 420 per kvar 
and having a power loss of 100 watts per kvr power loss you also have power loss with the capacitor that is what that is 100 watts 100 watts per kvar calculate the annual saving allow 10 percent depreciation and this and that so interest and depreciation factor is mentioned which is 10 percent is that fine it is can i write down yes i have a lot of space so what do you have is you've got the cost you've got the uh, okay okay so the formula is basically the formula for QC the leading KVRs taken is P1 tangent of phi 1 uh, and uh, is it a minus is it a plus it is a minus yes so minus P2 tangent of phi 2 but have a look P2 over here would be what P2 over here would be P1 plus the loss is as well in the capacitor that is what that is 100 watts so i would just put it at 0 0.1 kilowatt 0 0.1 kilowatt of q c per kvr right yes so now put it over here similarly you can have what you can find out phi 1 and phi 2 from here if if you find out phi 1 so phi 1 basically is the cause inverse of 0.85 and phi 2 would be the cause inverse of 0.9 now you can put it up over here can you not put it up so qc the capacitor rating is p1 p1 is basically 200 and tangent of phi 1 so you've got your phi 1 right then you have what minus p1 plus this thing so minus p1 200 tangent of phi 2 and then minus 0 0.1 times qc and tangent of phi 2 have a look you have phi 1 you have phi 2 you take the tangent you have only one variable is qc from here you can find out the value of qc in kvars and this will come out to be what 25.89 kvars 25.89 kvars are the leading kvrs taken by the capacitors now if you have got the kvrs so the cost will be what capacitor cost capacitor cost is uh, rupees uh, 420 per kvr so multiply 25.89 and you also have a 10 percent depreciation so multiply it with the 0.1 as well so this comes out to be uh, 1087 one zero eight seven rupees this comes out to be rupees one zero eight seven is your capacitor cost right yes sir now what do you have now again the same thing so you have before power factor correction before power factor correction your s1 is let's say p upon cause of phi 1 so p is 200 cause of phi 1 is 0 0.85 what does this come out to be it is 235.3 235.3 so which means the fixed cost is on on the basis of this 235.3 and that is what that is this one 150 150 so the fixed cost comes out to be how much 35295 35295 right yes now the variable cost is on the basis of the units consumed so the units consumed e is the power into time because we don't have a load factor so power is 200 and time is what that is given the number of hours are 20 2500 hours so the energy units consumed comes out to be 500000 000, 5000000 kilowatt hours now the variable cost would be on the basis of this that is five double zero triple zero multiplied with what multiplied with 0 0.5 0 0.5 so the variable cost comes out to be uh, what 25,000 25,000 now the total cost of electricity let's say one is fixed cost one plus the variable cost one this is let's say one one for before power factor correction and this comes out to be 6295 60295 rupees per annum 
fine yes now let's say after power factor correction so for after power factor correction you would have s2 would be the same p upon cos of phi 2 which is 200 upon 0 0.9 and this would come out to be 222.2 have a look kvas have reduced so the fixed cost would be 222.2 multiply 150 and this comes out to be 33330330 right yes this is fixed cost 2 now the variable cost 2 would be the same as variable cost 1 but you also have to include what you also have to include uh, the loss in the capacitor so the loss in the capacitor is what power loss in capacitor is 0 0.1 times the rating so 0 0.1 times the rating is qc so 0 0.1 multiplied by qc is what qc is 25.89 so this comes out to be what 2.589 where is it no uh yes or you could go directly for the energy loss you could also directly go for the so this would give you the power loss right this is x let's say and then the energy lost in the capacitor would be what that x multiplied by the time so power multiplied by time is the same time is 2500 hours so this comes out to be what 0.5 x multiplied 2500 yes so this comes out to be 6472 6 472 kilowatt hours these are the number of units that are lost in the capacitor so the cost of el you also have to include the cost of the energy lost through the capacitor as well so 6472 multiplied by what what is the value 0.5 that is what 5 rupees 5 pesos so 0.5 so the cost is this one is 0 0.05 basically Ah uh, yes, 0 0.05. So this comes out to be 323. 323. 5 pesas is 0 0.05 rupees. 0 0.05 rupees. 5 pesas. 5 pesas are 0 0.05 rupees. Right? Yes. So now you also have to include this a rupees in the cost. This is due to the capacitor losses. So the cost of electricity 2 would be the fixed cost 2 plus variable cost 2 right yes fixed cost on the basis of maximum demand variable cost on the basis of energy units consumed plus the capacitor cost right that is the fixed cost including the depreciation in nm as well so this basically can account for the fixed cost right and plus the also the cost of the energy lost in the capacitor el let's say so that you can also account for the variable cost as well if you add that with that but in the end if you sum up the whole thing that is one and the same thing so add all of these please add all of these what is this uh, uh, fixed cost 2 fixed cost 2 is what is this much double three double three zero plus variable cost two is the same as variable cost one which is twenty five thousand plus the capacitor cost is over here is one zero eight seven plus the power loss cost is 323 so which means the cost of electricity after power factor correction coe2 i am writing as 59740 59740 have a look this is rupees compare it you are saving some money you are saving some money still is that clear it is next example let's say is what example number 6.8 example number 6.8 this one was 6.7 and this one is 6.6 .6. so 6.8 states what a factory operates at 0.8 power factor lagging 0.8 power factor lagging and and has a monthly demand of 750 kvas demand is mentioned in 750 kvas right yes the monthly power rate is rupees 8.50 per kva rupees 8.50 per kva this is the monthly power rate 
to improve the power factor 250 kva capacitors are installed with negligible power loss 250 kvar capacitors are installed no power loss okay this is to improve the power factor the installed cost of the equipment is 20000 and fixed charges are estimated at 10% per year so uh, what is this 20000 is the fixed charges 20000 are the installation charges and 10% is what is estimated per year calculate the annual saving affected wait we'll just go for it first what do we need is we need the kilowatt and the kvr components we are given the kvas basically we are given what we are given the kvas that are 750 now the kilowatts how do we find the kilowatts so that is uh, kva multiply cos of phi kva multiply cos of phi isn't it like this that is from the power triangle have a look this is p this is q and this is s so s is the kva have a look from cos of phi can you not do it you can so 750 multiplied by 0.8 right 750 multiplied by 0.8 what does this come out to be this comes out to be where is it 600 this comes out to be 600 so this is basically s this is p and now q which is the kvars are what from the formula have a look is kva into sine of theta we are given kvas and we can have sine of theta and cos of theta right the same theta 0.8 right so kva is what 750 and sine of this theta would be what sine of this theta would be 0.6 and this comes out to be 450 kvr so we have the s p and q and we also have theta so we have all the knowns right yes now have a look these are before power factor correction these are before power factor correction now the capacitor takes what capacitor takes 250 kvrs so if the capacitor takes 250 kvrs which means you have injected some leading kvrs of 250 initially the lagging kvrs are 450 so which means now after the capacitor installation you have remaining or net kvrs are what they are 450 they were initial minus 250 have been balanced by the capacitor so which means you have remaining 200 kvrs you have remaining 200 kvrs after perfect improvement yes yes isn't it like this it is so this means 200 is the remaining q so if q decreases s has to decrease yes and p would remain the same so s is equal to p squared plus q squared under the root so p would remain the same which is 600 squared plus q has now changed is 200 squared and this would be under the root so s comes out to be what 632.45 632.45 which means it has reduced uh, from 750 let's say this was s1 this is s2 so which means reduced by this has reduced by how much amount 750 minus 632.45 this is let's say q2 this was q1 and p1 is equal to p2 of course so it has reduced by how much amount 900 no no 117.5 117.5 this much it has reduced now you are only given the, the 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 charges that are on the basis of kva you are only given the charges on the basis of kva so you have to calculate for the charges of kva so which means what that you have monthly saving you have done what monthly saving is done on the basis of this much you have reduced it by this much amount so which means you have saved it by this much amount so monthly saving would be what this amount of kvas multiplied by the cost per kva is 8.50 so this comes out to be what uh, 998.75 
998.75 this is monthly saving now for yearly saving what do you do is uh, you would multiply this thing 998.75 multiply it with 12 so this comes out to be 11985 11985 rupees this much you are saving actually so the fixed charges per year fixed charges per year what would they be fixed charges per year so they are 0 0.1 multiply 20,000 have a look 20,000 was uh, the, 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 the installation cost was 20,000 multiply what the depreciation and one factor was what it was 0 0.1 so you multiply it with 0 0.1 this comes out to be 2,000 this comes out to be 2,000 so which means you've got a net annual saving net annual saving you would write it this way that net annual saving was equal to this amount 11985 minus this 2000 and this comes out to be what nine what is this this is not visible whatever it is 11985 minus 2000 this much is the annual saving that you are doing annually i hope this is clear basically if this is not clear have a look we are only given the tariff on the basis of kvs find the initial kvs and find the afterward kvs and the light is gone but i believe just we are we are finished with it we are finished with it i'll just open the door just give me a second so i have opened the door i hope this works because this is just a, a two minutes and we cannot wait for the light so the thing is that you are given the monthly charges on the basis of kvas only so what can you do is you can find the initial kvas before power factor correction and find the final kvas after power factor correction and you can find out the costs for both and you also have the installation cost of the capacitor so include that also and then what do you have is you can find the saving and you can comment on that right yes so i hope this is clear this is called the power triangle p uh, q and s where where the the phi is this angle phi is this angle right yes so that should be it i finished this video over here i will see you in the next one uh, with some more two or three more examples from the book and then we will see whatever uh, we have next so till then take care of yourselves everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye